Hello Princess and welcome members of the core and maybe welcome some new cruisers today and maybe a real quick how to cruise we're going to talk about going ashore. Now this is going ashore without an excursion that is a slightly different process but this is what I'm doing here in uh, Puerto Quetzal, Guatemala. I'm just going to head ashore, walk around the little tourist area and then I'm back aboard the ship I'm going all by myself. So. There's just a few things I have to do, and this is pretty much what you have to do to get ready and to get off the ship and safely return to the ship. The first thing you should do is decide if you want to go ashore at all. It's definitely not required, so if you don't want to, you don't go. In our last port of call in uh, Acapulco, well, I'd been there before on a multi-day stay. I'd seen all the sights and done all the activities, so I decided to stay aboard the ship. Well, uh, here in Puerto Quetzal, I've never been to Guatemala before, so this gives me a, a great opportunity to grab the country credit and stretch my legs off the ship for an hour or so. Now that you've decided to go ashore, next thing to do is uh, check your cruise guide for that day to update yourself on any arrival and departure times here on the Freestyle Daily. They are printed up here in the yellow bar, and it tells me that, well, today's forecast is 88 degrees. Oh, wow. Uh, sunrise and sunset times, those aren't too important, but very important are the arrival times and departure times, so all aboard times. Arrival today was at 7.30 a.m. and all aboard is at 4.30. Now, a couple points. Most of the cruise lines will publish an arrival time, but it takes 30, 45 minutes for the ship to get fully tied up, things to get set up on the pier and local authorities to clear the ship. So we arrived at 7.30, I think I heard the announcement uh, no, we arrived at 7. I think I heard the announcement just after 7.30. But the most important time on this sheet is the all aboard time. Yes, I have to be back on the ship at 4.30 p.m. as does everybody else. And here's the thing. If you go out on your own, they will not wait for you. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, fine. They might wait two or three minutes. But that's it. So, yeah, if you're late, just... Uh, Bye. Maybe we'll talk about how that works later on. In terms of what you need to go ashore, it's actually pretty simple since I'm not really going anywhere other than <laughs> just basically off the ship. I only need two things. The first is my cruise card that they will use to tap me on and off the ship. Tap, scan, facial rec, different cruise lines use different techniques. The second thing you'll need is a government issued ID, whatever. And today all I'm taking with me is my uh, passport card which I recommend everybody get. If you're gonna be doing a lot of cruising, this is a great opportunity to use it. Leave your passport safe aboard the ship. Don't risk leaving that. And, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, the names match. I'm good to go. I'm just walking around the port here, so I don't really need to bring much, but if you are doing a tour, or doing a tour, or going on a beach excursion, make sure you take everything you need with you. A little bag, towel, sunblock, you can take water off the ship, but they really don't want you bringing it back on board. So if you do have a refillable, please make sure that's empty before you go through security. Otherwise, you're going to hold up the line for everyone, and they will hate you for the rest of the cruise. As you're getting ready in the morning, listen for any new announcements, because arrival and departure times can change depending on, well, a lot of factors outside the cruise line's control. So the cruise director will come on the, well, <laughs> on the PA system and remind everybody what the exact times are. So definitely pay attention to those. Again, all aboard time is the most important time you need to know about. Future me here real quick, something I totally forgot to put in the original cut, and that is your passport when you go ashore, leave it on the ship because it is safer here than anywhere else. And what you probably should do is leave it somewhere where it is easy to be found, such as on the shelf or even in the safe because if something happens to you and you don't make the ship they will come and rummage through your stateroom looking for your passport and if it's easy for them to find they can leave it with a port agent so you have it and can fly onward so leave the passport on the ship take your passport card and make it easy for the crew to find all right now you're all sorted and ready to go before you head down to the either tender lobby or gangway you have to do one incredibly important thing, and that's check the ship's time because it can be different than local time. There's a number of different options to do this. You can do this on the TV in your room, you can check the app, or you can come to one of the boards here and uh, they will always display the current ship's time. My recommendation, check at least two sources. 
because I have had it happen on two different ships where the clocks all had a different time. Now that you know what the ship's time is, and you haven't done this before, it's time to find out where to get off the ship. And it will be labeled different things, depending on, well, how often they update this, but the tender lobby is usually a good indicator. Either the tender or the gangway is going to be there. So we're headed to deck four. If you're taking the elevator down when you board, be on the lookout for a button that says either gangway or tender, and there it is. So that's what we're gonna hit, and that should take us where we need to go. Some ships, it's a different place. And before you head down, pay attention to whether or not the gangway or tender is going to be forward, midship, or aft. Here on Norwegian Bliss, it's always been here, midship, but, well, that can change too. Heading out, have your cruise card handy. And again, as you leave the ship, check the all aboard because it can change. And that's it. Here on Norwegian Bliss, they have deployed a facial recognition system, so you just stare into the cold eye of the camera and it takes care of the rest. But you definitely still need your card and a government ID and I am off the ship. All right, uh, let's head. Well, technically we are in Guatemala, but I wanna set foot on land first. That's when it counts. When you're done ashore, it's time to head back to the ship. I try to do that, do this without dropping the camera in the water. <laughs> it's same process, mostly in reverse. We did the scanner back there, but they're gonna check you again when you board the ship. This is where they will uh, check you for liquids and stuff like that. Uh, they will check alcohol usually, although on this cruise they have been announcing that it's prohibited. So I haven't asked about that, but I think it's just warning people that if they do bring it, they're going to have to uh, check it in. All right, directed to the gangway. And uh, well, this pier is kind of low. We're way up there. All right, so this is where, yeah, I gotta turn you off until I'm back aboard. And we are back aboard pretty easy, except for one thing. Depending on what time you get back and how many people have the same idea, the elevators can be quite, quite, quite chaotic. So my recommendation is take the stairs. Yeah, take the stairs, depending on how far you need to go. If your intent is just a drink, yeah, it's like two flights up. So yeah, don't deal with the elevators. Proof they let me back aboard. I hope you enjoyed this little rundown of well, the general process for leaving and returning to the ship, what you need, depending on what you're doing and how simple it is. And some of the things that, some of the things, some of the things that you definitely need to be aware of before heading out. And well, you know what, quick trip, but here I am in Guatemala, got the credit. And despite the fact that, uh, well, didn't do any tours, didn't go further than the little port area here, I'm satisfied. And that means I will have to come back Got a couple of things I do want to do here, but I will be back. And that is why I am thankful for my problems. Oh.